talk to me. Kyle is calling, Master. Hello. I know you're there, dude. Hey, sausage dick, man, listen up. Brain scan, the ultimate experience in interactive terror. Brain scan is not board swoosh. Well, Kyle, what's the problem, man? This one will scare the hell out of you. Here, here, here. It's hot in your stuff. Brain scan. <laughs> um, here it is, here it is. Choose from chainsaw dismemberment, nightmare eight, da da da. Satisfy your sickest fantasies. <laughs> Far out, man. It's just an ad, bird brain. Just hype. Remember, Gore Beast? Trash. Dude, man, it's, it's interactive CD ROM. Here, you gotta look at the ad at least, man. It's in Fangoria. You know, the one with the uh, with the popping eyeballs on the cover. All right, where is it? Yeah. Here. Um, we dare you to participate in the most frightening experience available on this planet. State of the art. Run amok. Unleash the dark side of your soul. Enter a game that feels more real than reality. <laughs> it's interactive, dude. You're in the game, man. You're in control. <laughs> Say no more, man. I can't even believe that, that I'm sitting here telling you about this game that you don't I mean, you subscribe to Ben Warrior. It's an issue you with the bulging eyeballs. Kimberly looking at me. What do you mean? <laughs> you watching her again? Dude, can you see your tits, man? Talk to me, man. Dude, man, you know, you better make your move soon because I hear like some some no neck jock dude from the football team is about to make his. I'll get around to it. What are you afraid of, man? Thanks, Kyle. Bye, Kyle. Buddies forever? Buddies forever. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Later. Igor, dial 1-800-555-BEER. Yes. Hello, you've reached BrainScan. 
Uh, my name is Michael Brower. You can reach me at 717. Hello, Michael. Sorry. Thought you were a machine. How can I assist you? I read your ad in Fango, and I just wanted to find out what's the big deal. It's the most frightening experience you'll ever have the displeasure of coming into contact with. Sure it is. Look, I've played them all. Brain scan's more than just a game. Yeah, right. Well, what's it about? That depends on the individual. What makes brain scan unique is that it interfaces with your subconscious. You supply the inspiration, and we take care of the rest. Look, R2-D2, how do you really expect me to believe... <laughs> Let us worry about the details, Michael. It's too late for that. It's been decided you'll play death by design. The first installment will arrive soon. Enjoy the ride. Ah. Igor, redial. Yes, master. Disappointing, Kyle. Dude, man, it's not that bad. When, when does he eat her gallbladder? Just right now. <laughs> She's freaking out. What exactly was that, Mr. Brower? A gallbladder, sir. <laughs> My office. Now. <laughs> the activities period was created for intellectual enrichment, which is why I have such a problem with this horror club of yours. What was that film you were watching? Death, death, death. Death, death, death. Part two. Oh, Lord. Don't you see? Senseless violence is not entertainment. What is it, then? Why? Why do you watch these films? Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Help me understand. I guess it's kind of an escape. Like, uh, like lighting up a marijuana cigarette and escaping the real world, hmm? Like watching a pornographic sex film, getting an erection and raping someone? Is that what you mean? Yeah, you know, I, I don't think erections rape people. People rape people. Consider the horror club banned. Hey. Banned. You will bring me the next videotape or video game you plan to show. I will watch it if I can stand it. And if I approve, you will be allowed to show it. Until that time, the club is canceled. Don't let me detain you, Mr. Brower. here, kid? I live... I live about three blocks down. These people friends of yours? 
No, sir. Well, this is none of your business, then, is it? Go home, do your homework. Michael, uh, it's Dad. I, I guess you know that. Well, just calling to say hello. So, how are you getting along? Okay, I guess. How's school? Don't ask. I really hate these machines. Business is going well here. Uh, I wish you were here with me to see all the new equipment. Um, I'll be back in a few days. I, I know it, I said it would be sooner, but uh, I'm sorry. I love you, Mike. Dial 1-800-555 here. Yes, master. And Igor, no calls. Listen carefully. For the next two hours, you're going to experience mind program entry. That's a powerful force, not unlike hypnosis, transmitted through the television's blanking signal. It's going to alter your reality. Who the hell are you? Take this seriously, Michael. You'll be watching a brutal murder through the eyes of a killer, and you'll affect his actions. It won't be pretty. No kidding. There is one limitation. You must stalk and kill within the time limit of the program. Like a video game, right? Video games are ancient history. This is the first disc in a series of four. If time runs out, you'll not be allowed to play the next disc. That could be extremely dangerous. Do not let that happen. One final detail. You must think like a killer. Cover up any clues. Leave no witnesses, no evidence. And most importantly, enjoy the fear. Wait a minute.
gate. The gate. On the right. That's it. That's it. Inside. Choose one. Upstairs. Bingo. A little creativity. That was intense. That was insane. Try 
was so real. But, man, what happened? What's the plot? Well, just forget plot, <laughs> man. I don't remember really? any story. All I remember was there was all this blood, and, you know, like, oh, my hands were shaking, too. It was, it was sick. See, I told you, man. I told you it would blow your mind. Yeah, man, Kyle, you know what? You were right. <laughs> the feeling, I... I loved so, it, man. You got it on you? Patience, Kyle. No, man, if it's as good well, as you say. Well, no, I know, I just want to play it a couple more times, and then I promise you'll get it. Ah! Hey! The hell were their problems? Sure. At least forever. Forever. Igor. Yes, master. Dial one eight hundred five five five. Fear. Hey, Mr. Keller, can I come in and speak with Kimberly for a moment, please? Come in. All right, thanks. Kim, somebody to see you. Hi. He came to see Kim. Oh, really? Yeah. Nearly four times the amount of aid the president wants Congress to approve. And in local news, there was a grisly murder in the quiet suburban town of Mountview today. Late this afternoon, the body of 42-year-old William Tebbs was discovered in the bedroom of his home, located in an exclusive oh, west side area of Mountview. Tebbs was brutally so it stabbed. Near here. Local police conducted a thorough search of the area. An intensive house-to-house -house investigation Jesus. is now underway. Police are asking for the cooperation of local residents. Did you say something? Any information Listen, with regard uh, to Teb's murder, you are Can you tell Kim that I'll stop by later? <sighs> I have to go. <sighs> Sorry. And that's when police discovered his mutilated body. Police conducted a thorough search of the area in hopes of finding the murder weapon. But so far, it has not been found. Can't be. Can't For reasons be. unknown, Teb's foot was severed from his body. It, too, has yet to be found. Police say they have no leads on any suspects in connection with Teb's gruesome murder. Mountview has never been touched by such a tragedy as this. Now come the questions of who and why. Hey, kid. You following me? Uh, listen, I can explain. Explain what? You don't have to explain anything. Or do you? You're inside a police line. Now, this is the second time I'm telling you. Go home. Go. Sure, you put it in a safe place. I'm 
sorry, sir. There's no such number listed. That's impossible! I'm sorry, sir. You have a call, master. Hello, Michael. Fucker! Who are you? What did you do? If I were you, I would address that question to myself. Okay, who killed that man? And what's happened? You were there, Michael. You know exactly what you did. Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Trickster. Where were we? Yes. You may not remember the details, my boy, but I'm positive you remember you controlled the disc. You controlled what happened. What? So you take responsibility. How did you get in here? You invited me in. That's how it always works. Michael. Don't you have anything good? Never leave home without it. From the top of the charts to the space in your heart. Knock it off! So you did it. Who killed that man? What was on that disc? The murder. What else? You know, for a minute there, I didn't think you'd go through with it. When he got up and started dancing around the room. Classic. How do you know? I was there. When you cut off his foot, it was art. It was magic. It wasn't supposed to be real! Real, unreal. What's the difference? So long as you don't get caught. If there's a difference, okay? There's a big difference. Just doesn't make any sense. Doesn't have to make sense. All these horror movies you watch. Does death, death, death make sense? No, it's not about sense. It's about death, death, death. I didn't kill the man. I didn't even know him. There lies the beauty. You had no motive. It was totally random. Like in the animal world. Prey never has a name. It was primal. I can't wait to see what you do next. Next? Wait a minute. There's no next. Yes, there is. No, there's not. Yes, there is. You must eliminate the witness. There is a witness? Two. If you count me. But I'll never turn you in. They could pump a million volts through me. They could bust my fingers one by one by one. Dig out my eyes. But no country western music, please. Every man has his limits. Look, I, I thought it was just a game. You know, a stupid video game. Trust me. Play the second disc. How, how could there be a witness? Oh, come on, sport. You're more than just the voyeur you wish to be. You're in this now. You won't survive on your own. I'm willing to help you. But you have to play all the discs. Hey, I've done pretty good so far. Have you?
boy. Come on. Ooh. Here, boy. Come on. Come on. Good boy. <coughs> hey, wait a minute. Shit. Give me the foot, okay? I promise. I'll never ask you for anything else again, okay? Just give me the foot. Mm -hmm. I've been calling all day. Did you skip school? Uh, no, I, I got mono. That's harsh. Anything I can do? Nah, it's all right. Can I come in? Well, Kyle, I don't, I don't think it's such a good idea right now. Okay, okay. Listen, I have to get going. I have to go to bed and all, you know. Hey, did you hear about the murder? Yeah, I did. Yeah, that's pretty cool, you know, having murder in our own neighborhood and everything. Kyle, a guy just died, and you think that's cool? No, I, I don't mean cool, but it's interesting. Forget it, I'll see you. Hey, listen, listen, Mike, Mike, Michael, listen. If, if you're gonna be laid up, I'll have it letting me borrow the brain scan disc. Kyle, asshole, will you get off my back about that? No, no, if you don't want to let me see it, if you just want to be a jerk off about it, just say it, just say so, that's all. Bye, Bye Kyle. Kyle. You too. I'm sorry, were you sleeping? Well, actually, maybe I may have dozed off. Can I come in? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, they're all over the neighborhood. Yeah. I uh, went to all your teachers, and I got your homework for the week. Oh. Did you stop by? Yeah, I did. I just wanted to find out about some homework. We don't have any classes together, Michael. 
Oh. <laughs> we don't do it. Oh. Here's your mail. Oh, thanks. And I brought the Monty. Yeah, I have a lot of pictures in it this week. Oh. That's, uh... That's really nice. Uh... Sorry, I got it. I got it. Thanks a lot. Is everything okay? You should probably get going. Oh. Okay, I'll, um, let myself out. Thanks for stopping by. Call me if you need anything. Talk to me. You have a call, Master. I'm back. Well, pal, so glad to see you again. Where should we begin? Where's the second disc? I can't play it. You might have to play the game. No! <laughs> what will you say to them, then? What do you mean? Why did you leave school the day of the murder, Mr. Brower? Where were you on the night of the murder, Mr. Brower? Were you alone, Mr. Brower? Where's your father, Mr. Brower? Where's your mother, Mr. Brower? Who's Shut your up! Oh, I don't believe they'll find that answer satisfactory. They haven't found me yet! The witness has yet to speak. There's still time to play the second Look, disc. Look! I don't have the second disc! Don't lie to me, Michael. You received it today. Can't play it. You mean you don't want to play it? No, I trashed it. Does that compute? Pure fantasy. You did nothing of the sort. Play it. The witness has to die. I'll play it for the police. That could be very dangerous. I'll tell them what happened. I've got nothing to lose. All right, just shut up a minute. The real question is, are you a winner or a loser? My name's Michael Brower. I'm 16 and I'm scared to death. I'm not sure what this tape's gonna prove, but if I'm a killer, consider this my confession. Ah. Uh. Igor, dial 1-800-555-FEAR. Yes, Master. Well, here goes nothing. My name's Michael Brower. I'm 16 and I'm scared to death. I'm not sure what this tape's gonna prove, but if I'm a killer, consider this my confession. Igor, dial 1-800-555-FEAR. 
Yes, Master. Well, here goes nothing. What? What? Wait a minute. I sat there. I swear to God I didn't leave. Yes, Master. Please answer. Kyle, please, Kyle, answer! Jesus, Kyle, talk to me! Kyle, please! Who is this? Answer me. Michael. I really didn't know him. But Kyle came to my house last night. He brought me this. I started a petition to restart the horror club. He said you guys had had a fight. And he wanted me to bring it to you personally. But I really didn't know him. My dad didn't want to let him in the house. Yeah. That's Kyle. another hideous crime committed in their small community. High school student Kyle Hilliard is the second murder victim in as little as three days. Shortly after Hilliard's body was identified, Chief Homicide Investigator Lieutenant Hayden arrived at Montview High to question those known to have been closest to the victim. Already, residents are fearing the possibility of a serial killer. Bitch, you killed Kyle! Oh, you killed the witness. Kyle wasn't a witness. He didn't even see anything. Not a witness in the strictest sense. But he knew things about you. Kyle was my only friend. And you pissed him off. Nice going, Michael. Got anything to eat? Don't look in there. Don't be afraid, Michael. Nothing in there but frozen meat. 
Loose ends like Kyle can't be left to dangle. Hayden would have tied it around your neck like a noose. Why are you doing this to me? You chose me, Michael. I didn't choose you. You left a clue behind in the second disc. No more games. I know. Kyle's death still hurts, but do you really feel guilty for what you've done? The part of you which did these things, it's deep inside and it's in everyone. Be honest. If you don't feel the guilt, why accept the punishment? Don't answer that. Trust me, Michael. If you want this to end, don't answer the door. Get off my back. Sergeant Morton. We've met before, twice, I believe. Yeah, yeah, I know. Um, can I help you? Yes, you can help me. Michael? Michael Brown? Yeah. May we come in? Yeah, I guess so. Um, yeah, come this way. You haven't been in school lately. No, I haven't. I've been sick. Oh, sorry to hear that. I really am. We heard a lot about you today from your classmates. Really? Well, I hope good stuff. Well, no, to be perfectly frank, Michael, you were described as, um... What was that word they used, Sergeant? Frightening. Frightening and strange and weird. Freak came up a couple of times. Sergeant Morton is something I'd like you to see. A good friend of yours? Yeah. Yeah, he was my best friend. You don't have many friends, do you, Michael? Listen, is there anything you guys want? You want to find a killer. I want to catch him. How do you spend your free time, Michael? Just hanging around and staying out of trouble. Your voice sounds very familiar to me. Are you sure you didn't call Kyle's house after the murder? No, no, that wasn't me. Of course it wasn't. But, Michael, if you were anything but the class misfit, which I know must give you a lot of pain. I'm going to find out about it, you understand? Take it easy. Very sad boy. Maybe, but something's there. Yeah. Ashes. And he made the phone call. Check with the phone company. Yeah. That's with the ashes. There were fresh ashes in the fireplace. It's summer. He was burning something. I think we just got very lucky. Maybe. What the hell are you doing over there? I'm sick of you doing 20 miles an hour in this town. Give me the keys. Have a little snack, hope you don't mind. 
They think it's me. Of course they do. Right now, Hayden only suspects you. How long do you think it's gonna be before he has proof? Huh? A few hours? A few minutes, maybe. Tick tock, tick tock, eh, Mike? You see today's paper? Special edition. Interview with best friend. Though all of Montview High was in a state of shock. One student's loss was greater. I miss him. God, I miss him already. Sobbed. His best friend. And president of the still banned horror club. Trust me, Michael. I only want what you want. Buddies forever. Fuck you! Uh, hold still. Oh. Scared of blood? Remind you of something? That road, the rain, your mother. Play it, Michael. Or forget all this. Join your mother. Take your own life. You thought of it many times before. You could be with her forever. You started this and now you're afraid to finish it just like you're afraid of everything else. Of Kimberly, of Fromberg, of telling your father how sick you are being left alone all the time. Of your mother who abandoned you. I'm trying to help you, but you won't let me. <sighs> A bargain between friends. Play part three. But you only need to remove the clue. No killing. There's no clue. It's just a trick. You just don't trust me. Wait a minute. Come back. Hold on. How am I supposed to know what the clue is? Friends. Yeah. Sure. Friends. Buddies, whatever you want. Footprints. What? Footprints in the mud. But where? That is the question. Play it, my school. Otherwise, you'll never remember the location. Whatever happens is up to you, but don't let your time run out. If I do. Game over. You lose.
to you. We need to talk. Michael, I didn't mean for this to happen. Stacy did it. Michael, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean for it. your attention, please. Stay in pairs. One walkie-talkie to a group. Hopefully, this will be an uneventful evening. You're here to keep things calm, to protect. That's what a neighborhood watch is all about. If you see anything unusual, you come and report directly to me. One last thing. I know you're volunteers. I know you're enthusiastic. Some more than others. And I know some of you own hunting rifles and revolvers. If I see a weapon in a citizen's hands tonight, I'm going to confiscate that weapon, and I'm going to arrest that citizen, even if it's a water pistol. Clear? OK, that's it. Thank you for doing this. All right, here goes nothing. Just a clue. No more killing, just a clue. Yeah. I believe there's an intruder in your yard. Who is this? A concerned citizen. Who is this?
Just leave me alone. Please get out. I was... I... They just shot the killer over there. Get out of here.
What happened? You made it, Michael. A bit clumsy, but you made it. I killed somebody. Again, I killed somebody. Actually, you were magnificent. <laughs> the neighborhood is covered in blood. But you said I wouldn't kill anybody. You promised. You protected yourself. Your hand was forced. You had no choice. Michael. Michael! Ah! Now that I have your attention. Stop! This isn't a game anymore. This is crimes. This is just lots of crimes. It's only a crime if you get caught. There was a witness. And you know who she is. Forensic says you're gonna need this. And the Brower kid is the one who placed the call. Is, don't you? And you know what has to be done. Part four. <sighs> That's it. I'm gonna go to Hayden right now and turn myself in. like some child, and it's not spying on Kimberly. You get off on that, Michael. I love her. It could be any girl in any window, and you know it. I won't kill her! She'll tell! She won't just do come to me first! Like last time. Stop this! Only you can stop this! Her life or yours! Choose! Igor? Yes, master. Dial brain scan. Goodbye, master.
You wouldn't do this to me. Who the hell are you? I can't believe you still don't know. My God. I'm you. No. time. I want you too. I bet she didn't know that. Look, I take pictures. Look. It's you. 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 I love you, Mike. Hello there. You've just experienced Brain Scan, the ultimate experience in interactive terror. We're glad you decided to play. 
Our special state-of-the-art system releases a powerful reality-enhancing signal. We here at Scientific Perception Laboratories, makers of brain science and other dream. games, hope you've enjoyed the feeling. A dream. However, we understand that reality compression can be Wasn't traumatic. even real. We offer these simple relaxation oh techniques God. to calm you down. Now, in a suited position, place your head. I didn't kill your anybody. Eyes. There's no trickster. Now, breathe deep. Bath. You brought me to hell! Mike, try these fucking relaxation techniques! magically delicious. <laughs> it's good to see you, Kyle. I missed you. I love you. Dude, man, are you OK? Yeah, I'm fine, man. Oh, good. Listen, it's a good thing you didn't order that brain scan tape, man. I saw something on the news about it. Like, it's like hypnotic or some shit like that. No, no some kid in Texas was watching it, and I think he had an aneurysm. And, and I think his eyes exploded, too. Man, what is it? Come on, man. Go for it, man. Let's go. Kimberly? Damn. Hey, Stacy, do you know where Kimberly is? She's upstairs. Upstairs? Yeah, with Taylor. Stacy, for once, don't be a bitch. Hey, it's Stacy, right? Yeah. That outfit's totally bitch. You think so? I know so. You look just like that girl in that video by what's his name? Only better. Video? Really? Totally. You're Kyle, right? Uh-huh. Oh, no. Hi, Kyle. Kimberly? Michael. Yeah, can I talk to you for a second? Yeah, come on. I just wanted to ask one thing. OK. Please, will you go out with me? I don't think so. I, I mean, I'll think about it. It's not really a good time to ask, you know what I mean? <laughs> You'll think about it. Yes, but... Maybe, right? Not no. Maybe. Yes, <sighs> maybe. So you mean, uh, you and Taylor... Are you kidding me? Well, listen, um, I have to get back, so...
Yes. Come in. Yes. What can I do for you, Mr. Brower? Well, uh, I have a game I want to show to the horror club. Brain scan. Yes, well, this should be entertaining. Yeah, I, I really think it will. Uh, I think you have a lot of fun. Brain scan. you forgotten something? Yeah! 